If you want to automate your solar system, not a problem. We have an automated temperature control kit available on our website. So I'm going to be installing a Pentair Solar Touch. Automation unit looks just like this. I'm going to install it right here on the wall, right next to the electrical outlet for an easy tie-in. All right, so we have our control box installed. So right here, I'm taking off the screws so that I can remove the faceplate and get to where I'm tying in my electrical. So Pentair Solar Touches are already hardwired directly from the factory for a 220 volt. If you are using a 220 volt, perfect. You can leave it as is. If you needed to change it for 110 volt wiring, there is a detailed diagram on the inside of the door. So for this solar touch, I am gonna have to wire it 110 volt because that's what we're hooking it up to. And always double check your voltage to make sure that you're wiring it correctly. So once you have identified what your voltage is to hook up to your solar touch, you're gonna wanna make sure that you turn the electricity off to whatever you're tying into so you do not get electrocuted. So from the factory, it comes pre-wired with a single jumper that goes from AC2 to AC3, and that is designed for 220 voltage wiring. Since we're connecting to 110 voltage, we need to use the additional jumper that is taped to the back side of the door of the solar touch. So with that secondary jumper, I changed the original one from two to three to now it's two and four. And I use that additional jumper and I attached it to AC1 and AC3. So your wires are gonna go from your electrical point up into the control. And I'm gonna run some conduit in between to connect them. So now I'm connecting my conduit to my fittings. That way I can run the wire and everything is already preset. And now I'm gonna take my wires, my hot, my neutral, my ground, put it straight into the conduit. That way I'm all set to install the conduit and the wires to my J box or my junction box and our solar control unit. All right, so now I've completed putting in the conduit and my wires into my J box and into my solar control. Next step is to hook it up. All right, so you have your three wires. You have your ground wire, which is the bare copper. You have your neutral wire, which is white, and you have your hot, which is black. And that's how I'm gonna be connecting it directly into the solar touch. So first, just get the, the two wires out of the way first, because the first wire you're gonna to wanna to install is the ground, which is at the top. And then next, I'm gonna be doing my neutral. And the neutral for 110 is gonna be connected to AC1, which is the one right below the ground wire. And then your last wire is gonna be your hot. And the hot is gonna be installed on AC2. So just an overview, we have our ground wire, which is the bare copper at the top. Our white wire is our neutral. And last, the black wire is our hot, and it's installed on AC2. Now I'm gonna be connecting our electrical to our power source. First, I'm gonna take the ground, I'm gonna curl it, that way it connects to the screw. We have now connected our ground wire, which is this bare copper. Now it's time to install the neutral, which will be on this side, and the white shielded wire and the hot is gonna be on the opposite side, the black shielded wire. So once you have your ground, your neutral, and your hot all wired in, now just simply put it back together. All right, now our control box is wired. All right, so the next step is to install your sensors. There's gonna be two of them. This black box looking one is gonna go up on the roof next to the panels. This white nose one is gonna be your water. This one gets installed before your solar three-way. The sensor on your roof gets connected together with 18 over 2 thermostat wire. That's available at your local hardware store. All 
This hole for the water temperature sensor that comes with the solar touch is a 3 8 inch hole. So you can use either your step bit or you can use a 3 8 drill bit. Once the sensor is inserted into the pipe, you're going to take your hose clamp that came with it and you're going to tighten it around it. Once you get it semi-tight, you're going to want to take a hand driver to finish the tightening. That way you do not strip out the hose clamp and you don't damage the pipe or the sensor itself. Now we're going to connect the other end from the water temperature sensor into the solar touch. So there's plenty of extra wire, so you have all you need. Here is where your sensors connect. You can see that they're labeled water and solar. So now we've installed our water sensor. Now it's time to install your actuator. I'm installing the actuator here. It's this easy. Unscrew the wing nut on top of the handle. Remove the handle. The arrows indicate which screws you take out so you can add your actuator. So now you're gonna take your actuator and slip it right over this stem. Once you have that in place, you take the longer screws that come with your actuator and you're gonna screw them in. Little tip, make sure you use a hand driver only to insert these screws. If you use a drill, you could strip out the three-way valve. Once you install your actuator, go ahead and put your handle back on. And then just tighten the wing nut. So the actuator gets plugged into the solar touch on the top outlet. Just for aesthetics, you can zip tie all the wire to make your equipment nice and clean. Now we're going to install our water sensor wire into the black brick. The easiest way to install the sensors is to take out the block with a pair of pliers, just pull directly out. That way you have a lot of room to insert the new wires. Now with a precision screwdriver, you're going to unscrew all three screws to make sure it's open so you can insert the wires. So our water sensor wire is gonna be the left and the middle. It does not matter if the red one is in the left or the middle, you're just going to want to mimic that for your solar sensor. Now you're gonna take your 18 over two gauged thermostat wire for your solar sensor and insert it into the solar touch. And then you're going to repeat the steps just like you did for the water temperature sensor. Now, once you have your solar sensor wires exposed, like I said, with the water sensor, you're gonna to wanna to mimic the wire colors. So the middle one will be white and the right one will be red. Then take your precision screwdriver and tighten the other two screws. Once those are good and tight, you're just gonna simply put the block straight back in on the pegs. If you have a Pentair variable speed pump, the next step would be to install a communications cable. These cables usually come with the pump in the box and they allow for advanced functionality. If you don't have a Pentair variable speed pump, no worries, you can just skip this next step. To connect your communications cable to your pump, there is a black cap on the side of it. In this black cap, you're gonna notice that there's prongs, silver prongs on the inside. To connect your communications cable, you're gonna align with the pegs on the inside. Once you have it pressed in, just a simple quarter turn, it locks it in place. And now you're going to run the rest of this wire directly to your solar touch control. So the location for the communications cable to be connected inside the solar touch is going to be the black block 
right above where the water and solar sensors are located. So just like our solar sensors, we're gonna attach these two wires, the green and yellow, directly to the block. You're gonna take the block out. And for these, you're gonna use the middle two. The left one on the middle is gonna be used for the green. The right one on the middle is gonna be used for the yellow. And don't worry, it is labeled on the inside. And go ahead and tighten. So once those are tight, you're gonna install it right back on the pegs on the board. So now you are completely done wiring your solar touch. The next step is you're gonna connect the solar sensor up on the roof. So now we're gonna install our solar temperature sensor, which is that black box looking one. And we're going to attach it to the 18 over two wire that we brought all the way up to the roof. Now this sensor ideally would need to be in direct sunlight all the time. Try to avoid installing it in places that get shaded. The solar temperature sensor reads what the temperature is on your roof next to the panels. That way it relays that information to the control to let it know if it's warm enough outside to turn it on or if it's too cold to keep it off. So you install this sensor simply by stripping back the wire that we brought up to the roof and connecting it to the six inch leads on the actual sensor itself with simple wire nuts. Once both are connected, use some electrical tape around the connection area. That way it stays watertight. So once you have the connection made, simply just place the block sensor right on the roof and you're just gonna glue it down. Final step, put the faceplate back on. Easy way to do it, you take the faceplate and you connect it to the ribbon. And make sure all your wires are back in there. and screw it back on. Once you have the faceplate on, now it's time to turn the power back on and start using your solar. All right, so power's on. Now it's time to select your target temperature. It's very easy. Use the down arrow if you wanna get cooler. Use the up arrow if you want your pool hotter. We hope this video gives you confidence in installing your own system.